All right, so episode two of the redesign. We're gonna do the 19 to 24 Camaro SS. Next episode, ZL1, so get ready for it. Now for this particular car, I'm thinking I'm gonna go off the refresh I made for the 16 to 18 and not do a complete redo of the already made design from GM. I'm just gonna redo the one I made last episode. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right off the bat, you can see a lot of things were changed, but there are also some similarities to GM's design. One of those being the flapped looking pieces on each side of the car. It kind of makes the side vents a little smaller and it kind of creates more of an aggressive jagged pointed edge that points to the center, which is something I really wanted to keep i really wanted to kind of make that more known in the design and i really think it pops out with what gm did and i just decided to keep that look i think it was really good now what hasn't changed only one thing hasn't changed the grill on the top the top grill has stayed the same from the 16 to 18 i redesigned the only thing that's really changed up here and you can tell are the headlights as you guys know the fifth gen the early fifth gen the one that started in 2010 had these round halo headlights and people went crazy over them at the time. But the thing that I have with them is that they're circular on a car that's squared. It's got angles, all right? And a circular headlights, in my opinion, have no place on a car that has this many angles. So I decided to make the circles angular. I made half hexagons because it just matches everything else with the car. You know how Lambo does it with the Aventador. You know how all these other car companies do it. Audi does it. Everybody does it when their cars have some angles to them. It just adds more similarity to the car overall. And I think this looks really good when it comes down to it because of the way everything comes together and creates this. Now, if I'm going to go in order, I'm going to start with the hood. I got rid of the heat extractors. I got rid of them. And I opted for a center mounted heat extractor just like on the 5th gen SS is the exact same design I just put it on a 6th generation 19 to 24 hood and I think it really matches the overall design language of the car Everything's pointing to the center. Everything's got its own mission statement You know everything knows what it wants to do and how it wants to do it and it all works in tandem to give it this look now, the side vents, I had to give them a little bit of something different because they're huge in the early design I made in the last video, but the biggest thing that I wanted to do was make something look angry. You know how in a cartoon you can see the teeth clench when something's really angry at you? Yeah, I did the same thing with this drawing. I, I made it look like it wanted to bite your head off, and I really think I excelled in that. Not to mention the center grill itself. I did keep those side vents that can be added with canards. I think that's just a cool idea that I figured I'd keep in the refresh. But I also changed the center grill. I made it... Yeah, I gave it this thing. I don't know how to explain it. I just think it looks better. And you're going to see with the ZL1, I do try to implement that in that design as well. I just think it looks good. I, in my opinion, I just think everything that I designed here, it works in tandem. And it's something that can jump off the previous design. It can hop off and run with the stick to the finish line. It's something that people, I think, would buy. I don't know, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Because I think this is a really good redesign of my previous design. I think it hits the boxes everywhere. It just checks them all off. I think everything I did kind of upgrades it from what I did previously. And if you guys like it, let me know. Obviously with the side, it's the SS version. I'm not going to do anything really special. It's going to be just like last episode. I will do something different for the ZL1 though. And I think you guys are going to really like the fact that I'm actually adding some more design cues and angles and stuff that could complement the body of the car. But let's go to something that has changed. And that would be the taillights. Like I said, I want the front of the car to be just like the rear and I want the rear of the car to look just like the front. So if we're gonna have half hexagonal headlights, I'm gonna go for half hexagonal taillights. And these look just like the half circular taillights of the early fifth gen. I'm bouncing off the fifth gen with everything I'm doing with this design because just like in the real 19 to 24 Camaros, they had circular taillights that were reminiscent of the early fifth gen. And the early sixth gen, had taillights that were reminiscent of the late 6th gen. The taillights in the early 6th gen are connected just like them, and the late 6th gen 
has the same taillight design cue as the early 5th gen. Separate double taillights. And I really think I did a pretty good job at kind of making the similarities known in this, this concept I drew up. And you can really tell all I did with this drawing is just change the taillights because the taillights are darker than the overall drawing. But let me know what you guys think. I think it looks good. I don't know if I could have done any better. I, I try to make it realistic because GM doesn't really want to, you know, it wants to cut corners where it can. So I'm not changing the overall perimeter of the taillight because I want it to fit with everything just to realistically cut costs. And I think this is how it would be done if I were to, let's say, be hired and do it. It looks good. It complements itself. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> There's really nothing else to say. So if you guys like this video, let me know. It's a little update video. You know, and for what's coming next, it's going to be big compared to what I just showed. Um, but I, I think an update was in order, and I, I think I did a pretty good job. So, you know, like and subscribe. Stay tuned because there's more content coming. If you guys like Camaros, you're going to see some pretty good stuff here. That's all I have for you guys today, so I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.